on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Uh, did you need me for something, my diamond? Yes. This substance you acquired, it seems to have some similar properties to one rose quartz. Really? Hmm, yeah, similar to that of her t ears, it, it seems. And this is all that you found? Yes, my diamond. Really? You wouldn't be lying to me, would you? Uh, no, I... Because you know what could happen if I find out you're lying. I swear a rose quartz was nowhere to be found. Yes. And you said that you were the one using the war pads, correct? Yes. After you were freed from a mirror due to a natural phenomenon. Yes. Hmm. Well, as your reward for bringing us this interesting sample. Here. Uh, wait, is that? Yes, we uh, decided that. Hmm, why not get, grant you the privilege of owning a pearl? Uh, I. Uh, I don't. I. Are you certain I'm. Are you trying to. Reject, or do you not prove our kindness? No, it's just I. Are you sure that I am? I uh, I'm worthy of owning one. If we deem it so, then yes. You can leave now. Oh uh, wait, I have a question. You seem. Ollie chatty today, Lapis. Well, it's about this paradox. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, is she going to Earth herself, or is it, no? She's sending her robonoids. She's mixed in some of that uh special healing solution that you acquired for us and with their regular paste that way they can at least repair the warp and once they do we can take earth wipe out the inhabitants and begin finishing what pink started uh, uh, understood is that all? yes my diamond, to be on your way. As yeah, Lapis C is freaking out. For one, they're still wanting to colonize Earth. Two, they're sending some robots, robots, to repair the homeworld warp. Which, as soon as that happens, Izuku, yeah, he's pretty much screwed if she can't warn him. So, yeah, she's pretty much grasping at straws, wondering how am I going to tell him. Her just... So you're my paradox, right? That's correct, my lapis. Uh, alright, alright. Good. <sighs> what can you tell me more about this homeworld that I've recently come back to. 
as soon as she hears about the Wailing Stones, seeing that, wait, we're, we still use those? She's happy. The only issue is, these are different from what she remembers. They're more, you can see, advanced before. So, as soon as she tries to use it, hearing the feedback, it's, uh, oh, it does video and audio. You need, it's like, what? E yes. Uh, okay, so how far is the reach? Um, um, will it be able to reach Earth? Yes. <sighs> good, good, that's very good. Uh. Pretty why do you want to know if it could reach Earth? Are you questioning me? No, I, I'm just curious. That, that is all. I, I did not mean to upset you. Hmm. See, you two of that doesn't happen again. It's my lapis. As yes, she sends. One straight towards the earth and Izuku. Oh, Izuku, please be alright. I really hope you. Uh, who, who's Izuku? No one. Alright, um. Very well. <sighs> Is there something wrong? No, Mom. It's just... wonder if Lapis got back home all right. Oh, so you're already thinking about your first kiss. <laughs> I... Oh. Okay, that's not fair. That That is not fair at all. Mm-hmm. As long as she can fly, I'm pretty sure she'll be all right. Yeah. You should get some sleep, don't you think? I, uh, I don't want to have to, but I will drug you again if I see it necessary. <gasps> Fine. Okay. Yes, I'm worried, uh, but I don't need sleep, that's not, if anything, space is dangerous. Yes, it is. So, what if she runs into an asteroid field, or a meteor shower, or something that could crack her gym again, and then she'll be stranded there, or wherever, or floating in space, no one knowing that she's... Wow, you are, you have become very attached to someone you recently met and recently let go home. I'm sure she's fine. There's nothing else for you to worry about. Uh, I guess you're right. Of course I am. I'm your mother. Well, technically, I'm my mother. If I'm, if you, what you told me about her, rings true. Uh, really? Mm, yeah. D don't don't even go there. I'm just saying. <sighs> Whatever, but still. I'm sure Lapis is fine. I'm sure she's happy in home world. But you heard what she said about it. Maybe that's just how she likes it. And besides, if she didn't, you did tell her she could come back, didn't you? I 
Oh, I, I, I guess I, I guess I did. Either way, come on, let's go. We're going to do some more exploring. What the temples? Of course. Seriously, going downside since we can't use the warp pads anymore. It's gonna cost a fortune in gas. Is they come across another temple? And upon opening it, Yuzuku already knows this. <sighs> Why is it so cold in here? Inko, she's like, oh my god, please don't let this happen. What are you talking about? Nothing. I, 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 this place might be too dangerous. Huh? <laughs> I mean, you know, we've done so much exploring, uh, Let's go, let's go home and, oh, come on mom, we, we're already here, why not, you know, uh, I really don't want, I can't, her just remembering, this is how they found Izuku and she's terrified, it's like, what else could be here, could there be another child, another child. Actually, yeah. Her thinking. I wouldn't want you to be, be alone. And it wouldn't be if I could find... You know what? You're right. Let's keep going. The colder it gets, the more Izuku noses and goes. She's taking a, a lot of... At least most of what wouldn't really bother him. So, so, are you sure we shouldn't turn back? No. I. I'm fine. Him just taking off his coat and just here. Oh, what did I do to deserve such a sweet son like you? You know exactly what you did. Uh, oh, oh, I see you got jokes. Yeah. Just trying to yeah, break the ice. Uh, no, no, you are not doing that. What? Seriously, don't get so heated. I'm going to smack you if you don't stop that. Okay. Hmm. Man. Maybe I should take my coat back since you're such a hothead. Her chasing Izuku, him laughing as he's running away. Her joining in the laughter until they come across a sheet of ice and slide to the other side of the room. But Mom, what's that? Huh. As she sees another blue bubble. <sighs> this is it. Huh? Well, we found you uh, like this, so perhaps there might be someone else like you. Her walking up towards it, ready to burst the bubble. Him <laughs> like, wait, how do you know if it's a friend? Well, they, we found you in a giant blue bubble in a, you know, cold room. So, yeah, but this one could be a prisoner. We we don't know. That's the issue. Izuku, ever since the whole Lapis and you with your dreams, I, I've been worried about you. And yes, though you didn't know them, but deep downside, you love your parents and her friends. 
but what if this is just one of them? And she's been waiting for you. Uh, I, I've never thought about it like that. So, do you want to let her out? Don't assume her gender. Don't, don't, don't you pull that card. Don't, don't you dare. This is a serious... Okay, okay, fine. Okay. So cold. Are you sure this is a good idea? All you have to do is trust me. As Ingo takes a small ice pick and burst the bubble, sent them both flying as she's wearing a dress. Them looking and them seeing Sapphire. Her unconscious. She's alive. Uh, come on, let's let's take her somewhere else, somewhere warm. As soon as Izuku picks her up, he sees the blue gemstone on her hand. He just drops her by accident, clutching his head, feeling like, no. It's a fire. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Is it? Go look, there. Wow, you've gotten good knowing gemstones. How'd you know that was a sapphire? Her seeing the tears running down his face. What's wrong? I. That's. So it is like. What is it? The reason why it's so cold in here. That those are her powers. And uh, her name is Sapphire. That. The same gem that's on her hand, just like Lapis. What? So that that really does play a part in the names. Apparently, yeah. But I. Uh, uh, oh, she's awake. Uh, Sapphire. Who who are you? How do you know my name? Wait, where am I? What am I doing here? Where's... Where, where's Ruby? Wait, no, where's Rose, Pearl, Amethyst? Who are you? I... My name is Izuku Madoya. This is my mother, Inko Madoya. Uh, we, we came here to explore and... Uh, we, found you and we think you might be one of my mom oh my biological mom's friends mom hey oh, yeah. wait lift your shirt huh do it zuku hesitantly reluctantly just showing off that <laughs> That belly bling is she's like Rose. She she's your mother, r right? Uh, she's the one. Uh, I wait. Where are the others? Huh? Wait, where's Ruby? I I don't know. Where's Amethyst Pearl? She she would never leave Rose's side with unless. Something happened. I. Why can't I remember? I don't know. I don't know who Ruby, Emma is, Pearl. I don't. I don't know about 
anything, Gabo. We just came across you and only you. And I have so many questions when it comes to my mom and gym culture as a whole. But can you help me? I, uh, I can try looking into the future. 